Three. Hello drivers and guides. We are in the yard in Brixton again. This is a 2015 bus and all buses 2015 onwards are using diesel exhaust fluid or AdBlue, which is an additive that gets sprayed into the exhaust and reacts chemically in the catalyst, in the catalytic converter to reduce uh, nitrogen oxide emissions. Now this liquid, the diesel exhaust fluid, needs to be topped up. There's a 30 litre tank in the, uh, under the bonnet in the engine compartment. And you won't see it, uh, but you need to check how much blue is in there. The vehicle consumes about 3% of the fuel consumption, so we did some mathematics and found out it might last for roughly 8,000 kilometers. Now I'll show you how to check your blue level uh, on your dashboard and I also ask you to top up at blue when you get back to the yard. We will keep you updated on how that works. Currently we've got little 20 liter canisters where you can top up but that's not so easy so we'll find a better solution for that. Um, first of all we'll have a look at the dashboard and I'll show you how to check the at blue level or the diesel exhaust fluid level using your dashboard and the steering wheel buttons. Put in the key switch on the ignition and I'll just close the door the door doesn't want to be closed okay we'll leave the door open um, sometimes you have to start the vehicle to provide more than 12 volts in order to close the door so I'm not starting the vehicle now uh, there's no need for it but I'll show you there's a default screen here on the dash that shows you the uh, total mileage and the trip uh, reading and you've got the steering wheel buttons here this is the menu button up and down you can scroll up and down and these are the uh, buttons to scroll up and down within the menu now first of all we want to select the menu after start for that we'll scroll that way and up comes after start and we have to now in this menu scroll up to at blue and it shows you the at blue tank is full um, if it gets below five liters a message will come up on your dashboard and ask you to refill um, if you have no chance to top up some at blue uh, this will not be a disaster but your engine will just reduce power uh, to reduce emissions that's the idea behind there and uh, you will not break down but uh, make sure you top up with a blue or diesel exhaust fluid as soon as you have a chance. Uh, it's normally provided on most petrol stations, so you should be able to get it. We are now going to have a look, I'll scroll this back to the main screen. We're now going to have a look at the other end of uh, the system, which is under the bonnet, and I'll show you where to top up at blue. And for that, we'll go out and I'll open the bonnet first. Again, you need a flexible arm, as usual, and Victor with the camera will follow me around. Right, I apologize for the noise. We are in the yard in Brixton and the coach has just come in here. You open the bonnet. I'll take the opportunity to explain what's where here, by the way. Not much hasn't changed on the newer vehicles. This is blue, but it's windscreen wash. Um, it's not at blue. This is the oil filler cap where you can top up with oil. That's normally not needed. The dipstick is behind here. In this case it's yellow and we have a look at the dipstick as we have the opportunity. It should be about halfway. Uh, never top up to right to the top because the oil will expand and it will go over the top and it can cause quite bad damage. So we'll put this one back and if you check oil level always use the dipstick never just the sensors and make sure it's on level ground so that can otherwise give you wrong readings. If you need to jump start the vehicle which I hope um, you don't need to and there will be another video that this will not be necessary anymore. If you have to connect jump start cables this again is the connector for the positive terminal even though connecting it directly to the battery actually works better. The negative can be connected here on this um, little 
eye where a hook can be inserted here on the um, turbocharger or on the official point which is the brass pin here right on the inside of the wing and getting to the other side of the engine we'll um, see the brake fluid container here let me just rattle and check if it's topped up this here that's the coolant water and this one is at blue um, at blue is highly corrosive and smells really bad and this is why they put a little um, funnel thing around here um, this is the cap for at blue and it says at blue so you can't really mistake it and you see something is spilled from uh, me topping up previously um, they you will see that at blue is actually not blue it's a clear liquid looks like water but don't thin it with water contact with uh, skin is not a problem but uh, it smells bad and um, you're advised to um, thin it with water just wash your hands after that uh, you see it's uh, quite tight space here and it's quite difficult to get it in now just be careful that you don't spill it over too far and uh, touch any corrosive parts. If anything spills over, uh, rinse it with water, ideally with soapy water to neutralize it and you should be fine. That's it. That's all about AdBlue for now.